Zinc sulfide, or zinc sulfide, is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula of ZNS. This is the main form of zinc found in nature, where it mainly occurs as the mineral sphalerite. Although this mineral is usually black because of various impurities, the pure material is white, and it is widely used as a pigment. In its dense synthetic form, zinc sulfide can be transparent, and it is used as a window for visible optics and infrared optics. Structure ZNS exists in two main crystalline forms, and this dualism is often a salient example of polymorphism. In each form, the coordination geometry at Zn and S is tetrahedral. The more stable cubic form is known also as zinc blend or sphalerite. The hexagonal form is known as the mineral wurtzite, although it also can be produced synthetically. The transition from the sphalerite form to the wurtzite form occurs at around 1020 degrees Celsius. A tetragonal form is also known as the very rare mineral called polhemocyte, with the formula Zn, Hg, S. Applications Luminescent material Zinc sulfide, with addition of few ppm of suitable activator, exhibits strong phosphorescence, described by Nikola Tesla in 1893, and is currently used in many applications, from cathode ray tubes through X-ray screens to glow-in-the-dark products. When silver is used as activator, the resulting color is bright blue, with maximum at 450 nanometers. Using manganese yields an orange-red color at around 590 nanometers. Copper gives long-time glow, and it has the familiar greenish glow in the dark. Copper-doped zinc sulfide, ZNS plus Cu, is used also in electroluminescent panels. It also exhibits phosphorescence due to impurities on illumination with blue or ultraviolet light. Optical material Zinc sulfide is also used as an infrared optical material, transmitting from visible wavelengths to just over 12 micrometers. It can be used planar as an optical window or shaped into a lens. It is made as microcrystalline sheets by the synthesis from hydrogen sulfide gas and zinc vapor, and this is sold as FLIR grade, forward-looking IR, where the zinc sulfide is in a milky yellow, opaque form. This material when hot isostatically pressed hipped, can be converted to a water clear form known as ClearTran trademark. Early commercial forms were marketed as IRTRAN2 but this designation is now obsolete. Pigment Zinc sulfide is a common pigment, sometimes called sactolith. When combined with barium sulfate, zinc sulfide forms lithopone. Catalyst Fine ZNS powder is an efficient photocatalyst, which produces hydrogen gas from water upon illumination. Sulfur vacancies can be introduced in ZNS during its synthesis, this gradually turns the white-yellowish ZNS into a brown powder, and boosts the photocatalytic activity through enhanced light absorption. Semiconductor properties Both sphalerite and wurtzite are intrinsic, wide bandgap semiconductors. These are prototypical EV semiconductors, and they adopt structures related to many of the other semiconductors, such as gallium arsenide. The cubic form of ZNS has a band gap of about 3.54 electron volts at 300 kelvins, but the hexagonal form has a band gap of about 3.91 electron volts. ZNS can be doped as either an N-type semiconductor or a P-type semiconductor. History the phosphorescence of ZNS was first reported by the French chemist Théodore Cito in 1866. His findings were presented by A. E. Becquerel, who was renowned for the research on luminescence. ZNS was used by Ernest Rutherford and others in the early years of nuclear physics as a scintillation detector, because it emits light upon excitation by X-rays or electron beam, making it useful for X-ray screens and cathode ray tubes. This property made zinc sulfide useful in the dials of radium watches. Production Zinc sulfide is usually produced from waste materials from other applications. Typical sources include smelter, slag, and pickle liquors. 
It is also a byproduct of the synthesis of ammonia from methane where zinc oxide is used to scavenge hydrogen sulfide impurities in the natural gas. ZNO plus H2S ZNS plus H2O Laboratory preparation It is easily produced by igniting a mixture of zinc and sulfur. Since zinc sulfide is insoluble in water, it can also be produced in a precipitation reaction. Solutions containing Zn2 plus salts readily form a precipitate ZnS in the presence of sulfide ions, e.g., from H2S. Zn2 plus plus S2 minus ZnS. This reaction is the basis of a gravimetric analysis for zinc. References External links Zinc and Sulfur at the Periodic Table of Videos, University of Nottingham Composition of CRT Phosphors University of Reading, Infrared Multilayer Laboratory Optical Data 1. Melting Point